Hello and welcome to Brightness and TG. My name is Vyacheslav and it's a short video guide for the application Pocket Cairo. It's character manager for Cairo RPG. At the start I tell you about the game. Cairo is a tabletop role-playing game with simple rules. Really simple, it's all book. And it's free. You can read the rules on the KNRPG.com. You can download PDF here. And also you can go to store KNRPG.com and buy the high quality prints of book, rule book I mean, and some adventures. A link you can find in the video description. Yeah. Uh, main idea of this application is uh, to be a pocket <laughs> manager, you know. You can use it on the desktop or your laptop on different devices, but mainly it's for mobile phones. And uh, when I made it, my main idea was, you know, like you sit in the bar with friends, you don't know what to do, you have no dice or papers, and one of us, one of people in the bar, have a warden experience, game master experience. He have some adventure in the head, like you go to little village, uh, take quest, go to little dungeon with five rooms, and need just dice and some rules. And to play, you need just go by the link to application, create character. New player can create character for free clicks, actually, and uh, start to play role playing game. <laughs> I don't believe that it will be work, and. Now I show you the application, how it works, right? Uh, let's start screen recording. Oop. Go by the link to application. Uh, link you can find in the video description, of course, too. And here you can see the main screen. Pocket Cairn, some artwork. A link to a game creator, to a official rules, and other links. And of course you can see the two big buttons, roll character and upload the character. About upload with later, let's roll the character. It's click number one. <laughs> and it's click character form. Here you can input the name, like, I don't know, John, or generate random name. And for new player it will be click number two. Hop. And random name. Mm, something else. Uh, after this, new player can just click to save and create character. But we will uh, go deeply, yeah? In Karen we have three stats. It's strange, dexterity and will. On the creation of character it's generated randomly, but we can swap two of them. So, like, I want to be a um, sorcerer, yeah? So I need more will. I click to will, click to strange and swap them after creation. They will be swapped after I click to save. Also you can choose starting gear. We can... it's... Looks like class, but it's not class. Can have not classes. It's just starting gear of your character that uh, close to any name of this. So if you click to elf, you will take the bow and uh, elegant sword. If you click to magic user, you, you take spells, yeah, spells. And if you click to random, it will be just random generated items. Let's take a random. Click save, and we have our character. And first that we see is uh, top menu. Yeah, here we have the settings button and notes button. Click to notes and go to notes. Yeah. Here we have a notes. My character was a butcher, have some information about him. It's a randomly generated biography. You can edit it or delete or put some new notes here that will be saved and closed by a cross button. Oh, also you can see on the bottom of the screen uh, dices. It's okay that you have no dice, so applications have simple emulation, and you can use it for emulate the dice rolls. It's not very good, but uh, actually random. It's uh, generate different values when you click, and uh, last dice roll will be selected by green light. So return to the character list. Here you can see our strange extension wheel, and strange and wheel is changed. Hit protection. Uh, oh, <laughs> my character have little hit protection, it can be more, it can be 6, I think it's the maximum. Armor, you can change it, and uh, state of depravity. Inputs for your money, golden, silver and copper. In second edition of Kain, if I write, it will be only golden, and I actually don't like a lot of different coins, but here we have a lot of different of them. And our items, wow, so many random items, seriously. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, we have so many because have little hit protection. If you have a little hit protection or little stats, you can take some bonus items at the start. So you can check that item in the hand 
like we have the shield and torch <laughs> okay and some weapons we have too also here we have the helmet plus one armor and brigantine armor oh it's bulky it, it means that we can't have so many items because it, we, we have just 10 slots and bulky item take two slots let's delete one of them so we have the brigantine with one armor and helmet with plus one to armor so our armor will be two and on the right part we have the fatigue checkboxes so if our state is depraved or if we cast spells or by some effects of game we can be uh, we can take fatigue so size of our inventory will be smaller day by day and it's important to check it okay now about settings here you can see scars history scars is the option to level up and gain we tell about this later and buttons and the scar we can't discard right now download character and delete character the application saves your character stats in local storage of your browser it means that uh, you know your browser has uh, some space for save data for any website with that space and uh, rare case but it can be loosed by i don't know you update your browser or you just did it by hands <laughs> so to make your character saver save it you can save it as a file you can click download character and download the json file with character and now if you want to use it on different browser in different device or just delete character here in application yeah you can click upload the character choose your file oh i have one more character <laughs> and upload it yeah and stats of your character will be here uh, let's return now the first character actually hop it's this one now about scars and combat in KN we have not dice uh, rolls for attack so if you attack an enemy or enemy attack you it will be rolled damage at the moment so if you take damage like six points of damage your armor prevent two of them hit protection protect from one but only once and three more you take for strange if your stretch will be zero, you will die. I mean, your character, not you. And uh, some monsters can deal damage to will of dexterity, so you can be paralyzed or lose your mind also. And how scars work? If your enemy deal damage to you, in our case, it will be free. Yeah. Armor prevent two of them, we take one, and our hit protection will be zero. But we don't take damage to strange, so it will be equal to zero. We can go here to options, <laughs> you know, to settings and add a scar. Uh, it, we have information that uh, it's uh, can change your character stats and you need to consultation with your Warden Game Master. Okay, I know about it and let's check how many damage we take. We can take maximum 12 points of damage, but in our case we take only one, yeah? One damage to hit protection that give us to zero. Click OK, and we have the scar on chest, and our hit protection has been set to five. The scars can be different, so we can use, uh, if you take like seven points of damage, we can take scar that can be resolved in the future. So we need to recovery, and then resolve. Recovery, resolve, and uh, we roll dice for uh, upper dexterity, but it was lo low, so we don't have brigade. Also, if I am right, last scar on the 12, it's very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. This seemed even so close, so you can, after resolve, make the... Oh no. On the next uh, save against the critical damage, when enemy will deal damage to us, if we lose it, we... Uh, die horribly oh <laughs> but if uh, we resolve so don't die we can take uh, like more hit points or hit protection sorry sometimes I missed so it's actually all that application can do but uh, again Karen is a very simple game so it's all you need to know <laughs> I want to believe that it will be helpful and uh, also I want to believe that somebody <laughs> with friends will play by his application in the bar it's gonna be cool Thank you for watching this video up to the end. And also I want to tell you that 
on my channel it's not a very regular tabletop RPG content and channel name is Bradys MTG, so it's about MTG, but not about modern MTG, it's about old school MTG. And if you like old school renaissance role playing games, maybe it will be interesting for you to look at some of my old school magic videos about old cards. And of course you can support my channel by like or subscribe. <laughs> Thank you and bye, have a nice games.